Hey guys, um, guess what? I woke up with terrible hair today. Um, also, something pretty cool. So you guys always send me demos and I review them. Um, what I did recently was I sent one of my demos to someone else and they reviewed it for me. Super exciting feeling, like I, I know what you guys feel each week. Um, here's his review of my track. It's like super detailed. This guy runs a different style of show to mine. So I listen to heaps of demos and give like feedback on what I think um, the, the submitter would understand. So if it's a very basic production, I give very basic feedback. If it's a rather advanced production, I give advanced feedback. Also just loving how bad my hair is once again. Um, yeah, here it is. Have a listen, it's super advanced. His show, he reviews two demos per week. I was lucky enough to be selected, so here it is. Um, yeah, check out the video, hope you like it. Woo! Our next producer is Steve Marks. Now, Steve Marks, I, I just met him recently. This is kind of a funny way we, um, we met. He's actually, uh, he does track reviews himself. So, <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that he's a producer, he does tracks reviews and uh, I believe he does them weekly as well. So you guys check out his, uh, his profile and um, you know, send stuff over to him. Like he, he, he's, his show is a little bit different from ours, but it's excellent review, you know, and it's uh, valuable just as, just as ours is. So, but Steve Marks, we're featuring him as a producer here today. And he sent us a track here, which I think is a banging track. You guys should hear this. Again, I just skimmed through these tracks like very briefly. So I'm still going to be hearing these tracks fresh. So Steve Marks, he's from, he's from Germany, from Cologne. And let's listen. Let's check out what Steve has brought to the table here today. Beautiful. Wow, that was very cool. I really, really enjoyed that track. Really nice message, you know, it's like, to me, it's kind of like a, it's like, man, today I'm feeling good, but like everyone's doing their own thing and you know, we're just seeing each other passing by and it's like just a really, really positive vibey track. I really enjoyed the, the vocoder there. 
really excellent job on the vocoder. Uh, I love musicality speaking, I'm uh, musically speaking. I love how, you know, his chord changes are two, four, one. Then sometimes in some breakdowns, he takes it from the dominant back to the, to the tonic of the, you know, the key of the track. But I love how he goes to that second degree. Uh, I think he goes to the second minor sometimes to the second, um, major minor seventh other times. So I love how he's changing up things. And just musically speaking, you know, I love how there's a, a really defined melody and a really defined harmonic structure. And it's a really, really great track. Um, I believe he's going to be releasing this on on a record label. So, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to do really well, really, really great vibey tune. As far as the sound design, like as far as the mix down of the elements, like all of the, you know, the arrangement and the instrumentation, I really think is on point. Now, as far as the mixing, I felt like the drums needed a little bit more impact. Um, like if I was to mix this track and I received it this way, perhaps I'd take a look at the drum bus or maybe create one if I needed the drum bus. Maybe add some slight uh, compression there just to get some little clickiness, you know, on the, on the, on the transients. Maybe even a transient designer might work. Uh, but yeah, maybe, you know, somehow check out the, the impact of the drums. I felt like I needed more more bang you know maybe do a parallel with some saturation i don't know check it out maybe some uh some compression some heavy compression and parallel that in to taste um and the mastering you know this might have been a mastering thing as well you know we you know it's kind of hard to tell but yeah check out the impact of stuff and um i also noticed like the on the highs some harshness here like especially here in the beginning maybe Yeah, with those cymbals and the crashes, the they felt like okay, they're 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 pretty loud, which is not a problem. But I felt like maybe you can do some frequency sweeping, check out some ringing tones, maybe check out some instrument. I mean, some tools like Soothe if you have it. Like Soothe Two is a really great tool to to get some ringing out, or just take a dynamic EQ, zone in that frequency, sweep around and see what you can find to you know to have it as present as present as you want, but maybe tame down those harsh frequencies. Um, I felt like I needed a little bit more bass as well, but I mean, these are just uh, subjective opinions. Again, guys, I'm not, you know, I'm a producer, I'm learning as well here. And every time you guys send me, send me something, I learn myself. So um, again, Steve Marks actually reviews tracks. So um, send him some stuff, you know, he'd be delighted to review it. So guys, that's it two producers every week i'm glad everybody came here to check this out and uh i haven't been paying attention to the chat but yeah i see a lot of people a lot of activity today so cool